All right, so I'm going to explain how to do your nutrition facts label assignment. Um, so you'll pull it up in your Google Drive. Just so you know, this will not be here. You need to choose your own food label. Go find a food like that you like in your house. Make sure it has the label, the nutrition facts. You need to use your own, okay? So this might get a little tricky because... It's, it's obviously easier in person and so or like when with it printed out so I'm gonna have a copy where if you would like if you were able I highly suggest you print it and then write and color and then like take a picture or scan to submit um, so just that's my suggestion but if you do not want to then you can just fill it out right here um, so I've got um, you're just gonna basically take your nutrition facts label and copy in the information so serving size you would it's kind of oh man this is going to be tricky that's why i'm telling you you got to print it but serving size is uh half cups so you're going to do half cup and then servings per container 13. so you might have to fidget like move them around and make them bigger or smaller like the font bigger or smaller anyway okay so then down here check for calories so this section is, you're going to, the calories are 150, um, and then I would say 25 from fat, okay? And then limit these nutrients. So refer to the lecture or the PowerPoint. This is what you need, these are the slides you need to be looking at, okay? So, um, going down right here, nutrients to limit. So that you're going to basically just copy down nutrients to limit. You're going to do, this is like really hard to do online. I'm going to keep saying that. Okay, so total fat. Um, and then go over and you need to put 4% because you need to make sure you have the percentage, um, the daily value. Um, and then you're going to go to the next line. And I highly suggest you make these, you've got to make it a smaller font for this to work. Um, saturated fat. Okay. For the purposes of like moving this along, I'm going to just move forward. So you're going to do list all of the nutrients to limit. And if you are confused, make sure you refer to this slide. Okay. And then. All right, so this is an important thing for you to understand. So percent daily value, basically what you have to think of it as is, let's say, so you're seeing these percentages down here. Basically what has happened is the percentage, it's been, con okay, what you need, the recommendation that you need for the day, it's been converted to a percentage. So let's say, I'm just going to throw out a number, you need 25 milligrams of uh, iron, okay? So what that means is you're getting 10% of those 25 milligrams of iron in this food. I hope that makes sense, but that's what percent daily value means. So you are trying to reach 100% every day in these, um, the different nutrients. So the vitamins and minerals, uh, and even like these macronutrients, like your fat, protein, uh, and carbs. So you're trying to reach 100%. Okay, so that's what th this percent, so this food item is giving 18% of the total fat that you need. Because remember, you do need fat, um, but it's we don't want to consume saturated fat or trans fat. Um, we want the the unsaturated fat, like your poly and mono uh, saturated or unsaturated fat. So that's percent daily value. Okay, so um, I'm going to skip down here in the nutrients to, to get enough of. You're going to, um, nutrients you need, you're going to do these right here, fiber, and then these vitamins and minerals. So you're just going to do the same thing from your, you're going to copy from your label. I'm going to make the font smaller. So you're going to do fiber and then vitamins and minerals. So this, dietary fiber, so you can just put fiber if you want. Um, and one thing I didn't, um, I don't know why it's not typing. One thing I didn't, uh, do up top is put the grams. So you might want to also do that, like three grams. So dietary fiber, and then you'll do like, so four grams, 
and 15%. And then you'll move on to vitamin A, okay, and then you'll put 0%. So you need to, this means that this isn't a source, a good source of vitamin A. Okay, so again, for the purposes of making this go a little smoother, or quicker, or faster, or whatever, um, I'm going to let you figure out the rest, okay? So just make sure you're copying to make it look just like these, all right? But make sure you put your numbers from your label. Do not copy these numbers. Okay. Um, and then for the ingredient list. So this one doesn't have the ingredient list, but yours will. So what I want you to do is, and I guess I didn't put the uh, text box, but what I want you to do is with the ingredients, there, you're going to find that there's going to be a lot of ingredients um, some of the food items out there have just a lot. I want you, if that's the case, I want you to list the top, the first five. So let me show you something really quick though. The ingredient list, um, keep in mind that caramel, anything that's in parentheses after that is what's making the caramel. So you do not need to list these things. You just need to list caramel and then skip to the next thing, coating, and then skip the brackets. Okay. So you'll list the first five, if there's not five, then list all of the ingredients right here, okay? So, so you would list all of your, your ingredients there. Um, and then what you'll do is you need to color. So what I will I'll allow you to do is, if you want, um, you can just do the font a different color. So you see how, like, in this, there's the, there's, like, the serving size is green, and then you have percent daily value is, is purple. Okay, so that's what you can do right here if you want. You can just do all of this. So, see if I can do this. Okay, so you're going to maybe do that as, as a green. Make sure that it's visible, though. That's kind of like... So just do it a different color. And then you're going to do the um, same like with the calories from fat. Do that same color. And then the nutrients to limit, you'll do one color, so a different color, all right? Okay. And then, um, but here's what you need to do. Percent daily values need to be a different color. So this is going to be a little bit of work for you, but that's okay. Um, it's going to help you be able to visually understand the label. Okay, so this is going to be a different color. Vitamin A, you've done already green, blue, red, so maybe you can do like orange, okay? So just choose four colors, and then make sure you do the percent daily values a different color. Um, all of them are the same, though, all of the percentages. And then, then your label will look very similar to this, all right? So then, here's the next part. Um, you need to answer these questions. So again, you're finding a label of your choice. Um, for this, okay, and then the questions, of course, so maybe I'll move that slide. Okay, so then you're going to answer the questions. What is the serving size for this food? So the serving size, um, serving size is a half cup, so you're going to put half cup, okay, what is food, and then you put the, like, it's for Cheetos or whatever, you put whatever food it is. How many calories are in two servings? So what you need to do, the calories in two servings, um, is multiply that by two. So you, then for this one, it would be 300. Okay, here is one that students get so confused on. All right, so what percentage of calories come from fat? Let's see if this label has it. Yeah, okay, so percentage of calories from fat. What you would do is you would put the calories from fat over calories. So you divide, in this case, this example, 25 divided by 150. So the calories from fat percentage is 16.7. So I would just say just do 17%. What percentage of calories come from fat? You're again calories from fat divided by total calories. Now some of you are going to say well what if it doesn't have calories from fat listed here? You have a little bit of work to do. So one thing that you need to remember is there are nine calories per gram in fat. So you might have to do some calculations here. You might have to come to the total fat here and multiply. Let's say that this wasn't here. You'll need to multiply three times nine. Um, and that will give you the calories from fat. Now, 
this number you're going to find, these numbers are, are like close to, they don't have to be exact, because if you multiply 9 by 3, you know that you get 27, and then you would do 27 divided by 150, and that gives you 18%. So 17, 18%, that's going to be a fine answer right there. So hopefully you understand how to calculate percentage of calories from fat. If you are still confused, please let me know. Is this food high in any vitamins and minerals? Now, I went over this in the lecture, but just to remind you, um, to determine the, um, the high or uh, medium or moderate, it's the 520 guide. I'm just trying to find the slide. Um, but yeah, so the 520 guide basically means that if you see a percentage that is 5% or less, it is considered low. If it's 20% or higher, it's considered high. So this is high in sodium. This is low in vitamin A, vitamin C, and iron. If it's in between that, it's moderate. So that's what you're going to do for your, your question right here, is you're going to go through your label and look for the percentages. So um, is it high in any vitamins or minerals? So down here, it is low in vitamin C, A, and calcium, which, because there's nothing, and then it's moderate in iron, okay? So you're going to use your label to um, describe and explain that there. Is it high in any nutrients you should limit? So nutrients you should limit, remember, would be like fat, but it's not because it's only 4%, and that's considered low. Um, and then just answer these questions. Is it nutrient dense? Remember, nutrient dense is high in nutrients relative to calories provided. So if you're getting, I would say this is not really because you're not really getting a whole lot of vitamins and minerals. Um, and it's 150 calories. I mean, even though it's low fat, so you kind of have to use your judgment on that, especially because you'll know what the food item is. I don't know what my food item is here. It's maybe rice or something, I don't know. Um, what ingredient is found in largest the largest quantity? Remember, if you listen to the lecture, Ingredients are listed in order of predominance by weight. So that means whatever is listed first is in it in greatest amounts, in the greatest amount. So, um, okay, I think that's it. Please let me know if you have any questions. Again, I highly suggest you print the worksheet and then complete it with just a pen or pencil and markers or pen colored pencils or whatever and then scan or copy. But this is an option for you to be able to complete, complete this worksheet. Let me know if you have any questions.